don't go to bed because we need to talk. We need to talk. Well, we don't need to talk. Uh, just getting my laptop. We don't need to talk really. But, you know, we can talk. We can talk. Who's here? Say hi. Say hi, it's party time. Jimbo, good evening. He says, good evening, Ms. Claire. Good evening, Jimbo. I'm just getting my laptop loaded up and then I can read your comments slightly easier. Oh, we've got Ben here. Hi, Ben. Evening, Claire, he says. Um, yeah. So, I meant to start live streaming earlier. Oh, and we've got Mia. She says, good evening. And we've got Heather and we've got Jane. Hi. Hello, everyone. I've had the funnest evening all on my own because I've been singing karaoke to my Smule app. <laughs> and you could, you could say I'm really sad. You could say that. Absolutely, you could say that. But I've had the best time. I have just had so much fun singing songs to the Smule app. If you don't do Smule, you should do Smule. Yeah, you need to do Smule. Uh, so we have Laurie. Laurie, hello Laurie. I don't think we've met before. Nice to see you. Um, who else have we got? I think we've got, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Rocks, Rocks W. Hello, just happened to catch your chat finally. Hello, Rox W. Thank you for joining. Let's turn the light up a little bit. Ooh, there we go. There we go. How's that? How's that? And who else have we got? We've got um, David. Yeet, jeez, this is a late one. Yes, that's because I got, I, honestly, I was going to do a live a bit earlier. And then I got my small lab <laughs> and I started singing. I sent songs <laughs> I sent a song to Lizzie. I know that Lizzie, Rose and Jones, I know that she loves November Rain from Guns N' Roses. So I properly murdered November Rain and sent it to her. And she was really polite and said, Oh, that's really not that's really good. <laughs> I actually like properly murdered it. But um, I just love singing. I love singing. I don't care. It's one of those. It's like an oxymoron in that I love it, but I'm not good at it. But I still love it. I'm not like I'm not the worst. I'm probably not the worst you'll ever hear. But I'm never gonna win X Factor. Oh, it's nice. Everyone said hello to each other. Uh, Jim, you look like you're about to go out for the evening. No, I just got a tiny bit of, do you know what, it's the first time I've worn makeup in forever because all, all my skin problems, I've been avoiding makeup because A, it's not great to put makeup on bad skin and B, then you have to remove it and like particularly the eyes, um, I've still got sore, if you can see how red they are, it's slightly sore on my eyelids but I decided to finally put some makeup on my eyes so therefore risk having to take it off again. But, yeah, I just felt like it. I needed to. I needed to. So I've been singing all sorts of songs. <laughs> I love, I love Smule. I love Smule. Um, so Mia says, how's everyone this evening? Uh, ben says, weather was shocking today. Well, you can hear it. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. No, this is not smule. This is not smule. But yes, you can hear the rain on my roof. Richard's here. Hi, Richard. How are the ghosts of Rochester? I haven't seen any ghosts since we last chatted, actually. So it's probably a good thing. <laughs> um, Mia says, same down here. We've had four seasons. Tony just took my makeup off. <laughs> From Nick and Ant's live. Oh, I missed a live. Sorry. I was so busy singing along to my smule lap. I didn't even know there was a live going on. Uh, Jim says, when Claire has her house party, that she's inviting us all to. There must be a karaoke machine. Absolutely. There will be karaoke. Yes. 
Oh yes. Heather says it's 85 degrees and sunny still. How nice. And David G says evening ladies and gentlemen. Evening. Uh, David May, defo on commission for Smule. Yes, I need I need to give you all like um a code. Uh, Smurfy girly, Smurfy girly sings like shit. That's your code, and you put that in, and you'll get a free subscription. <laughs> Barry's here. Hey everyone, he says, and Rich Mitch. Hi Rich. Hi Ducky. Nice to see you all. And I'm so glad that you took my advice and didn't go to bed. <laughs> I was like, oh, and Jackie's here. She's so. I thought, what can I do? Like, I want to do a live. And I can't think of a theme. And I can't, I, I literally, ju I just want to do one. So I did. And um, I have actually got a slight theme. So I've bought a few frags. I have got a few frags. Um, but I might not talk about them. I might, I might not. I've got a little, a tiny, a minute theme, but yeah, it, this is a safe, this is a live for the sake of a live. This is, I'm slightly, I'm slightly, what's the word? I'm slightly tipsy, and this is a live for the sake of a live, so there you go. Um, Jackie, did you do your nails? Yes, so we've gone for a very subtle lila with a what do you call that finish frosted like a frosted finish and then on my tootsie so this is i have to be careful because i've got no underwear on um tootsies are more of a bright pink oh I, I shouldn't have said that scrap that delete that bit yeah so uh lilac and a more bright pink on the tootsies uh rich no but do you know what, bear in mind, bear in mind he's not got a job at the moment, so maybe he doesn't want to know about any any bargains, whatever they might be, or, or deals at the moment. So I passed the message on, that's the best I can do. Um, uh, Jackie, gasp, I love the subtle frosted lilac with pink. <laughs> Yeah, do you know what, I felt like, because I've had a really bright neon pink on my nails for quite a long time, and it, it's a, I felt like I needed something subtle, so more subtle. It's kind of cute, isn't it? It's like, not major, not that eye-catching, but it's it's done, it's it's finished. <laughs> Yara says, how's it going, Claire? Great, thank you, Yara. Um... And just go out of bed, do I get any points for that? You totally get points for that, Yara. Um, <laughs> Jim, <laughs> Heather says we're twinning, Claire. Twinning on the nails or the underwear situation? I think we all know. Jimbo says we all work from home, so does anyone wear underwear? I don't think anyone wears underwear anymore. I did go, I actually went to the shop. Son's underwear or any any anything any kind of underwear but you know it's my local shop so I can do that it wasn't too windy so it wasn't that it wasn't that risque <laughs> David came for the frags got frosted flaps <laughs> and then you got frosted nails and naked flaps that's what you got David <laughs> so I haven't painted my nails in months do it, it make you feel good I just, do you know what, I would really so I worked today, I worked 12 hours today and then Emmy Ever After was doing her premiere this evening, it's perfect timing 8pm, I finished work about 7pm so I'd had just about had my dinner I was on my second drink and I got all my stuff out to do my nails and I was doing my nails watching Emmy Ever After it was perfection, it was absolute perfection. Do you know what, today has actually been, today has been perfection, because A, 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 A was, um, it was an okay day at work, it was absolutely fine, work is fine. I actually, I'm really lucky that my job is quite good, and so nice to be able to work from home. 
and then it's so nice when you're working from home that you can start cooking your dinner before you finish work aka save time and it was just lovely to then have my dinner, watch Emmy and Rafter, do my nails, have a few drinks, start singing songs on Smule, start serenading random people. <laughs> They'll never unhear. They will never unhear that. And then do a live stream with you lot. Perfection. Absolute perfection. We say perfection because I'm obsessed with pear right now. <laughs> Uh, so Heather's twinning and we're not talking about nails. I feel you girl, I feel you. <laughs> Smurf Jazzle. <laughs> yep, well, you're not, no one's seeing the Smurf Jazzle. <laughs> Barry says Arnie in the house commando. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think Pink. Hello Think Pink. Uh, Richard says, how many bottles have we all got? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to actually, I'm going to do a big video. I'm going to do like a full collection video. Uh, so the last year around Christmas, New Year time, I did like a collection update. But I feel like because I've been a bit spendy and I've got quite a few new babies, I feel like I need to do like a mid-year update on my collection, count up the bottles, and also I need to do a declutter because there's a few that I need to get rid of. So I might do like a really big video and just premiere it. So because the long videos I think are quite nice to premiere so that everyone can then do a chat, just like a live stream chat. They're kind of fun. I think anywho. Um, JC Russell's here, David G is here. <laughs> Claire Jazzle. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tony says, Nick, I should have got my frosted balls out on your live. Brilliant, Claire. I'm worried for this live. It's fine, Tony. It, I will not let it go too crazy. I won't, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. This is, a, this is as far as it goes. This is as far as it goes, for sure. Uh, just trying to keep up with your comments. Joss is here. Hi Joss, nice to see you. Jackie, is this the big pear video? Say yes, no. no. Do you know what? Every single time I think, right, I'm ready now. I'm ready now to do the pear video. I order something else or someone else is sending me a sample. I've got a bottle on the way that needs to be in the pear video. So it's happening, it's happening soon. But not quite yet so you're gonna have to wait before you see the big pear video uh, TR says perfecto I've not tried that one but I've heard it's slightly masculine in the dry down I, I get the impression it's a little bit like how uh, fine apple goes from that company it's like a nice opening and then Kind of like icy, super woodsy, more masculine dry down. So I feel like that might not be my kind of pair, but I still I wouldn't mind trying it. Hilary is here. She says hello, Claire. I didn't read your last few messages, Hilary, because I felt I better go live as I had uh, scheduled it. But um, yeah, I need to know. I need to find out a song that you like that I might just about be able to sing. I'm not sure Toxic by Britney Spears is going to work. Or the other one, the Anaconda. Is it Anaconda? Yeah, I'm not sure I can do that. I need a song I can sing and I'm going to bombard you with it. I'm going to serenade you with a really shitty rendition. <laughs> um, Barry's wearing Guerlain Om EDP. Uh, Rich has got about 165 bottles. Robert's here. Evening, everybody. How's it all going? Nice to see you, Robert. Thanks for joining. J 
Jimbo is wearing about four different samples of Sylvain Delacorte, not really loving any of them. Oh, shame. Yeah, I, maybe they're a bit feminine for you. Maybe they're a bit soft. I quite, I like all, I like everything from that range, but they're probably quite soft and easy and non-challenging, maybe. I'm wearing, so the last thing I applied, and I say that because I've got a ton of, I've got a ton of stuff on. The last thing I put on was that. I've got loads of that on. Prada Candy Gloss, I'm loving it. But that goes on top of uh, John Paul Gaultier Labelle, and I've also got on some Labelle Otero, which is that violet tea type fragrance. And there's a little bit of John Paul Gaultier's, what's it called? Uh, Scandal Apparee here. Although, mostly I'm wearing a lot of Prada Candy Gloss now, and I'm loving that actually. Ben, too many big secrets. I'm way too afraid of doing a collection video. It's like showing YouTube my underwear drawer or something. Um, but at least you're not admitting that you haven't got any underwear on, which is probably worse. I think you should just do it, Ben. Just get it out there. You might actually feel slightly better for it. Rich has got 80 bottles. Um, Jackie says, I liked the premiere video. I didn't realise that Emmy was in the chat. I thought she was live for a few minutes. Yeah, premieres and live streams can get, easily get confused. So a premiere is a pre-recorded video but then the person that recorded it could potentially be in the live chat. So it feels a bit like a live, but you can tell it's not because it's usually a bit of an edit. So like bits get cut out and stuff. Um, but yeah, premiere means it's pre-recorded. However, there is a live chat option just like a live stream. And then a live stream is actually live. So anything can happen and it could anything could happen oh yes um, uh, Robert says also put Claire on my big TV and I can see your piss Claire and yeah how can you tell <laughs> how can you tell oh, do you know what it is I, I've only had maybe three or four drinks but my carbs I've dropped my carbs, so last four or five days I haven't had bread, pasta, cakes, biscuits, crisps, chips. I've had nothing, no rice, no nothing. So the only carbs I've had have been like, like a little tiny bit of, I don't know, what's in milk in my coffee or, um, yeah, carb, my carb level is so low. And I feel like carbs protect me from getting too pissed. So I'm blaming low carb diet on feeling slightly tipsy. But we're still going to keep it nice. It doesn't mean everything has to go to shit. We don't have to, we don't have to drag, drag the society of Fragcom and start ripping my shirt off or calling people out for stuff. It's still going to be nice and positive. <laughs> Shit, actually that was a bit of a diggy. <laughs> that was diggy of me, sorry. Okay, let's keep it positive. Uh, Mia says, I feel like the only way I could do a collection video would be just to film the bottles, otherwise it would be so long. Yes, you feel like you, all you want to do is take your camera up to your bottles, wherever they may be, and film them all. That's the easiest some people get them and actually pick up all the bottles, put them in baskets, take them to one place. Too stressful. Far too stressful. But aren't we mental that we've got that many bottles that the idea of filming them is stressful? <laughs> yeah, we're crazy. We are crazy. Rich Mitch, I eat pears now and shit like that. So when you say that, do you mean you shit? Pear shapes out, Rich Mitch. Sal is here. Hi, Sal. 
David says it's just the occasional flap talk that wakes me. Uh, ben says, Yara, I'm more embarrassed of my collection than my underwear. <laughs> Uh, Tony says what a lovely lot in here tonight. It's always a lovely lot in here tonight as it is always a lovely lot in your live streams on a Sunday or whenever you do them, Tony. Um, yeah. I mean, God, you lot. What time is it? Here in the UK it's late. You should all be in bed. However, my instruction is very precise. Don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. <laughs> um. Amy's here. Hello, Amy. Uh, and she says, I didn't care for it, the candy gloss, too generic designer perfume blush. <gasps> Amy, did you give it a fair go? Because I fell in love and I'm normally really snobby. But I really fell in love. The opening's maybe a little, a little bit generic, but well, actually, it's all, it's all. You've smelt it all before, but I really like it, and I got mine for a really good price. I find it a little bit addictive. Yeah, I really like it. Um. Jackie says, when I first joined YouTube, I had an awful stalker, so I cancelled my account and went with initials, but it's good now. Oh dear, that's, that's a bit worrying. Uh, Amy says, the sour cherry top of Prada Candy Gloss is nice, but after that, mm. No, fair enough. I am actually covered in it and I'm right now, and I'm loving it. I really, really like it. So, just goes to show, goes to show. Yeah, where's John? Hopefully he'll turn up very soon. Rocks W, I'm curious if you have any Roger Dove in your collection. I want to buy one for my milestone birthday. Wondered what is good. To be completely honest with you, Roger Dove, I've found underwhelming. I've never found one that I particularly like. They all smell just okay and overpriced for what they are. So maybe someone else can guide you on that, but for me, that they just don't do it. Like, I don't think they're bad. I just think they're slightly dull. I personally think you're paying for luxury. You're paying, it's a new money price bands you know like Tom Ford Private Blend, Creed, you're paying you're paying for the label and I personally think money is better invested if you really really love perfume in my opinion money is better invested in a an indie brand something like a Francesca Bianchi, Papillon, Artisan, Fort and Manly something with real handmade artisan individualism <laughs> if that's the word that's just my opinion but if you want sort of a more recognizable brand and a really blingy bottle you know Roger is your man but I don't think you get a scent that stands out you just get all the other stuff that's one person's opinion. Oh. The cat is coming over. Hello, sweetie. Yeah. Here she comes. Oh, she's all wet. So she's been out in the rain and she's all damp and gross. Sweetie, why do you have to jump on me when you're like this? Why have you been outside? So This is my microphone. Hello, can you hear me? It's a better sound now. Yeah, John is missing in action. He's probably asleep though. I think um, I think he gets to bed a little bit earlier. I don't know. I don't know. Where's John? Where's John? 
Sweetie, you're getting in my way. Uh. Oh, the cat is causing... No, you're going to knock everything over, sweetie. Come, come this way. If you're going to go anywhere, come this way. Stay here. Stay here, sweetie. Oh, come on. You can't see her, can you? There she is. There she is. <laughs> right. Sweet, I don't want you going over there because you're going to knock all the perfume over and you're going to knock my drink over, aren't you? Yes, you are. Because you're naughty. Stay here. Mwah. Stay here, sweetie. No, don't go over there. Don't go over there. Or go, go the other way. That's it. Oh. So, where she's wet, all her fur is now stuck. To my face, my arms. Oh, sweetie. Um. I will stop talking about pizza, you lot. I haven't had carbs. I haven't had any carbs for a long time. I'm. Was there a word? I know this hangry. There should be a word for when you're actually hangry with a carb deficit like a carb hangry carb hangry something like that yeah I could slaughter a pizza right now our oh, Mia says she's on a diet right now um yeah it's tough it's tough I managed to lose four pounds in a few days so losing carbs dropping carbs does really help lose weight quite quickly but it's not good at absorbing alcohol it really is not um. Heather says Claire you can have a cauliflower crusted pizza I'll have to look that up um, actually Roasted cauliflower is quite nice, so yeah, maybe that would work. Maybe that would be okay. Um, Tony says Domino's still open. I'm not a fan of Domino's. I actually prefer smaller, in, like smaller independent pizza brands, just like I prefer indie perfumers. I prefer small pizza companies. I do. I do. Oh. I'm missing your comments, sorry. Um, David, I can't stay up too late. I'm hoping Royal Mail have a delivery tomorrow. I don't want to miss it. Fair enough. I've got to get up early because it's bin day tomorrow, so yeah, I have to get up at 7, well, 6.55, just to make sure I don't miss the bastards, because um, you can't put your bins out, because otherwise the foxes will spread it across the whole road, so you have to put your bins out in the morning, which means you've got to get up, even if you don't really want to. Yeah, early start, just to get the bins out. Um, right, I'm going to talk about some frags. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm missing some comments. Wayne Morris says, When I first joined YouTube, I didn't have a stalker, so I changed my name to blah blah blah, and I still have no stalker, so I changed my name back. Stalkers are so overrated. I like drunk Claire. I will be your stalker, Wayne Morris. How about that? And then we're sorted. Um, Amy is wearing an indie oil today, deaf and floral, called Before You Were Dust. Wow. Uh, there's no clove, but it smells like dusty clothes. Oh. Uh, um, da Vinci's Alchemy is here. Hello. He says, hi, everyone. Hi. 
Yeah, someone needs to tell me how to make a low carb pizza base. I want it to be crispy though, and very bread like if possible. Ben says, is anyone else getting the new Red Lessons video in their recommendations? I keep thinking the fake Roger he's on about this in the farm is his Navitas brand. <laughs> I have seen that. I didn't click on it though. Um, but I know what you're talking about. Um... Robert says, Claire, do you realise you were swaying in the chair? I didn't, mm -hmm. but now I do. Yes, it's raining here though, ducky. Can you hear it? Uh, Heather says, look on keto food box for cauliflower crust. The problem with that, Heather, is I'm convincing myself at the moment that I'm not keto. Sorry, itchy face. I'm, um, I'm kind of telling myself I'm not doing keto. So if I start looking on keto blogs, then I'm not going to believe it anymore. And I don't really want to be that restrictive. Do you know what I mean? Like in my head, I'm open to if I, if I end up with a hangover, I'm going to let myself have toast because that's the only cure. So that's what I mean. But if I say I'm keto, then if I end up with a hangover, I can't cure it. And that means I've got a hangover for the rest of my life. So I can't deal with that. Cat is, the cat has put fur all over my face on top of my current rash situation. So I'm like double itching. Double itch. TR says use keto bread for your toast. I don't know where to get it from. A heavy says cutting back on gluten may also help your skin irritation. Um, David, yeah, see, I'm not counting carbs. I know, I know it's 20 grams of carbs to stay keto. I'm probably over because not today because I've literally had a little bit of minced meat for lunch, just some leftover minced meat, and two chicken thighs and some salad for dinner not a lot really it probably explains why I'm slightly tipsy but um, other days I've had meat that's marinated in something that's got a bit of sugar in it so I'm not fully I'm not fully sugar free if that makes sense so I don't know that I'm under 20 carbs but I do know that even if I'm not I tend to lose weight just by dropping the carbs quite massively because prior to dropping the carbs I was eating whole packets of biscuits <laughs> and chocolate bars and stuff. Ah, oh, running out of battery here. Um, yeah, so even if it's nothing to do with carb dropping, the calorie dropping is quite substantial from not eating the carbs, I think. Barry says can eat what he likes, if Barry's very slim, lucky you Barry, you probably don't appreciate it though, you have to have been overweight to understand how, yeah, everyone will know what I'm saying. Uh, David says pure meat has barely any carbs, if any it's all the marinade and sauces that slow the progress, yeah exactly. Um, Okay, I might have to plug this phone in because otherwise we're going to run out of life. What are you lot doing awake? Have you not got work tomorrow? Who's got work tomorrow? Oh, that's not going to reach, is it? Who's got work tomorrow? Let me know. Um, what's your scent of the night? And ooh, um, what else? What snacks have you got, if you've got any snacks? Uh, I'm just going to try and plug this in, hopefully nothing will go wrong. 
Bear with, bear with. Oh, fuck. Shit is up. Shit is up. Oh, I didn't mean to swear, sorry. Um, hold up. Wait a minute. Right. There's a charge. Charge is in. And then... Put that there. Right. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. This is not working. Right. Oh, dearie me. Who's just say... Someone just said a whips. Someone just said a whisper, and they're teasing us with the information. Ah. Sorry about this. Why is this leaning forward like this? Ah. Right, that'll have to do. It's not quite right. It's not great. It's not the best. But it'll have to do. Let's get the laptop. Oh, sorry about the angle. The angle's all wrong. Maybe I can lift it up a little bit. Let's lift it up. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Right, okay, fine. Yeah. David says, I've put on weight because of lockdown. I was in hospital in January and on the 23rd of March, I said I could light train again that evening forest coast gyms well that's a little bit ironic um heather's wearing love don't be shy um god your questions your questions your comments are going too quickly um heather's wearing love don't be shy and batito dali from perfume and roma um Oh, Among the Stars is here. Oh, hello, Among the Stars. It's always nice to see you. Uh, Joss is asking him what he's wearing. And he's wearing Wild Glow by J-Lo. How is that? Tell us all about it. Uh, Tony's wearing Azaro Wanted by Night. Jackie's got Santal 33 and Paolo Santo layered. Um... And I've kind of caught up. Um, so I, I sort of brought a theme across, but it's, it's not much of a theme. It's, it's an excuse to just chat bullshit with you. I thought I'd bring my favorite female designer fragrances to the party. So that's why I brought that one. So that's Prada Candy Gloss, which um, we already heard is not the most popular, not with everyone, but I'm really loving it. I got it cheap though. If I paid full retail, I might not be quite so enamoured. But um, yeah, um, I got this one on eBay. It's 80 mils and I paid around about 30, 35 pounds for it. And I really, really love it. And I thought myself to be a snob. I thought myself to be a niche snob. I'm into niche and I'm into indie perfumes. And I've kind of, I felt like I've bypassed designer fragrances and but for the most part they weren't for me, they're all very generic. And then I've kind of come back to designers and I'm not saying that they're all good, but there are some good ones. And if you wait a while, something that smells maybe a little bit too sweet or a little bit too generic can smell better if you wait, if you just wait for it to develop a little bit. And this one, I really like it. Um, so, Prada Candy Gloss. So this is an eau de toilette. Prada Candy, I don't really know too well. I never owned it. I've heard about it. In my mind, it, I feel like it's probably too sweet. It's probably not as bad as I imagine. Find the candy gloss smells a little bit like 
Guerlain French Kiss, which is a high-end, very expensive fragrance. It's a raspberry, vanilla, iris, slightly almond, really beautiful, syrupy, sweet fragrance. This also smells a little bit like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It's got this, um, it's got a sour and sweet cherry note. And it also smells a little bit like a cocktail to me. A fruity cocktail. I feel like I can smell a liqueur and some fruit juices. And then when it dries down, it's powdery, vanilla, vanillic, musky, slightly sweet, slightly fruity. And it's nothing amazingly groundbreaking, but it's really nice. I really like it. The only thing I wish it would project more, when you are wearing it, after the first 45 minutes, the projection's very, very light. So the scent itself lends itself to going out. It lends itself to party time. But the projection doesn't. The projection is not good enough for a night out. The projection is more of a daytime type style fragrance, work fragrance. It, you'll smell it as you walk around work and stuff, but if you go into a big, like a lively pub, a gig, a concert, it's just not projecting enough. You have, you just don't get enough. So, smells great. It would work for a night out if only it would project more, but it doesn't. So, it's kind, it slightly falls flat in that respect. But I really like the way it smells, and I enjoy it, and I keep dousing myself in it just randomly for my own pleasure so I like that it's Prada Candy Gloss so I'm losing my niche snob thing I'm kind of I'm getting down with the kids a little bit and let's just check check what you're all talking about um I think you're all talking amongst yourselves, so I'm just going to carry on chatting, bullshit. Um, I'm going to mention some other designer fragrances that I like, you can join in if you want or not. Oh, Jackie's... <laughs> Jackie says, I'm listening. Bless you, thank you. I'm not having a go, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> um, oh, Songs and Lyrics is here. Hello, hello. Uh, Josh says, have you tried much from Narciso Rodriguez? I've tried, I think I've tried most of them. I think they're all quite nice. They're all a bit too floral. And the only one that I really like is the Ombre, the recent edition that... Uh, Sal sent me a decant of, and I really like that one. The dry down is creamy and sweet and gourmand, and I love it. But the opening's lovely too, because it's got that frangipani white floral opening. That's not too harsh, like some of them can be a little bit like tuberose, lily, I don't know, like too much floral. But the ombre one is my perfect floral musk vanilla type fragrance <sighs> right so I'm going to talk about another fragrance another designer fragrance and it'll be no surprise to you look how empty that bottle is it's my bottle of Label this is the 50ml I've got a full 100ml backup bottle just over there this gets rinsed by me because I love the way it smells it's so addictive the opening note is pear and it's a really rich, sweet, juicy pear, sweetened, added sugar and then there's some, uh, there is more sugar, there's more sugar, there's vanilla and it feels to me like there's ambroxan, there's that like, um, if you don't know ambroxan, it's in, um, it's in a lot of stuff, it's in a lot of men's fragrances. It's in Baccarat Rouge 540, I'm pretty sure. And it's a kind of 
not exactly salty woodsy but it's like a texturized woodsy almost like driftwood but slightly sweet slightly creamier it's hard to explain but I feel like there's quite a lot of ambroxan going on in here which makes it really addictive and it's just really good it's really good it's the kind of fragrance that I smell when I first smelt it I kind of dismissed it it's like oh it's full of fucking synthetic stuff and then it's like yeah but it does smell really good and then before you know it I've drained the bottle and ordered a backup 100 milk so it is really really good this though this is another culprit of not projecting enough this smells like the perfect night out fragrance the perfect date fragrance the perfect impression like the fragrance that everyone can smell you smell it it's so loud when you smell it when you spray it it's like wow like massively strong and sweet but give it an hour and it's pretty close to the skin and this fragrance deserves to be louder this fragrance should be your night out fragrance but it's not loud enough so if you're going to wear it on an, you should wear it on a night out but you need to take it with you and you need to respray it every three hours because it's just not projecting enough the scent profile is perfect for a night out the projection lets it down which is a shame the longevity on the other hand is amazing I've put this on my skin, hung around the house for a few hours, had a shower, got out the shower and could still smell it. This sticks to your skin, but it just doesn't project that well. It's fine for the first hour or so, but that's it. That's my only problem with that fragrance. It's that the scent profile doesn't quite match the performance. So that's a shame, but at least it's long lasting. So it's really nice to wear for your own your own enjoyment. I wear it during the day, I've worn it today, I have it all up my arms. I layer it because it's quite simplistic, this pear vanilla with this kind of slightly salty woodsy strange note. It's gorgeous. I feel like there's a bit of orange blossom in here, I feel like there's a little bit of sugar in here. I really really love it, I absolutely love it. And I wear it for my own enjoyment but it's just not loud enough. When it finally comes to going out and partying this is not loud enough, quite. Maybe for the first hour it will be, but then you're gonna to need to reapply it to, to get, to compete with the people that are wearing Alien and the likes, a Coco Mademoiselle. You need to reapply that because it's just not a projector after an hour or so. But it smells so damn good, I love it. So let's have a little look at your comments. Our therapeutic fragrance is here. Hello. Um, TR, have you tried anything from Bortnikoff? Yes. Yes, I have, but I can't remember what. Bortnikoff. Um, yeah, Dan, Dan had samples. I've tried them. I definitely like some stuff, but I, yeah, I can't remember. Um, Heather says I can't find the jumper Gaultier. Yeah, apparently it's a little bit harder to find over in the States. Uh, Tony says Eiffel Molto, Claire. I think that's the ingredient. Yeah, Eiffel Molto is the like the candy floss style scent that's in Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't think that's quite what I'm smelling in Jumper Gaultier's La Belle. Maybe there's a touch of it in there, but it doesn't feel... I've got some, I smelt it see, like on its own. It doesn't feel like it's overdosed. But, yeah, it might be, it's probably in there. It wouldn't surprise me actually, Tony. Uh, Jackie has no mouth, but not La Belle. All right, go spray it on. Um... Yeah, I hope you managed to find uh, La Belle, Jackie. I'd like to, I'd like to find out what you think about it. Uh, 
Jackie here in the UK label is not that hard to find. It's on, it's in quite a few discounters or uh, retailers, should I say? And my backup bottle, the hundred ml bottle that I've got, was on a group on a on a Facebook group. It was a tester, so it was a bit of a one-off situation. Wayne says we all need to go to Fragaholics Anonymous. So we're just reading your comments. Tony says, I need all your help. I want to get Bex Princess by Killian. I want a good deal and need it by the 22nd for an anniversary. So if anyone can help Tony out, I can't, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not experienced buying, I've never bought Killian, actually. Um, Jim says, thinking of moving to Europe when I retire, because fragrances are much cheaper and easier to find. Jim, but come to Europe, it'll be amazing. We can go smelling stuff together. Let's talk about more designer fragrances that I've been loving. And it's another John Paul Gaultier. Scandal à Paris. So I had, it's a flanker of Scandal. Scandal is the original, which is a very strong honey fragrance, honey floral. And this one is called Scandal à Paris. It's an EDT, so it's an eau de toilette. Less honey. It's a bit more floral, and there's pear. There's pear, and I am really, it's honey and jasmine, so it's just, it's a testable, it says it on the back, honey and jasmine. Um, the honey is definitely lighter than the original Scandal, and the pear lightens the whole thing, and just adds this, smooth, sweet, slightly fresh green, sweet note, which lasts quite well. And I'm really, 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 really surprised how good this is. I blind bought it, it's a tester bottle. I got it from eBay, 100 mils, 44 pounds. And I really like it. So I'm not like, I'm not like mega, mega, mega in love. But for, for the price I paid, the cute bottle, the pear note, I keep wearing it. Like today, I wasn't, it wasn't my main scent, but I coated this arm in it. I just like picked this up and I like coated this arm in it. And I smell it like this, like, oh, I really like it. So even though, if I look at my Guerlain's, some of my indie niche perfumes, yeah, okay, I would probably say they're better. But then they are two or three times the price. That, to me, is a really... It's like your easy reach. If I don't know what to wear, if I've got a situation coming up and I think, shit, I don't quite know what to, what to wear, I would absolutely just reach for that because it smells so good. It's versatile. It smells like... I would wear that day, night, summer, winter, and all the other seasons, and there's at least two. <laughs> I'm sure there's at least two. I would wear that for any situation, and know 100% that I smell really good, confident that I smell fantastic, in fact. So, I'm really happy to have that. John Paul Gaultier Scandal at Paris. Love it. I just, I think, what have I been missing out on by ignoring designer fragrances for so long? I'm speechless, speechless, speechless. Um, 
just said you get your comments. TR says I entered a raffle for Sheep Propeller Tan this week. It was their holy grail as well. Now I'm interested. I love Sheep Propeller Tan. I need a bottle. I love it. I think it's a masterpiece. Not one you reach for too often because it's quite special, but it's so good. So good. Valadina. I agree. Freg Anonymous. I bought a 32. Body mist and 34 bath and body. Bath and body wits? Body mist for bed. Why? Yeah, I've been stopping myself the last few days. I've been about to press the trigger and thinking to myself, mm, I think you need to just, do you really need it? Do you really need it? I think you've got to ask yourself the question. You've got to. I think I'm caught up enough. Uh, Joe's here, scented moments. Hello, Joe. And Rich is sharing various videos. I don't know what they are. I don't know. Um, I don't have many more designers to share with you all. Uh, there's one that was in my last video, which was Kenzo World Power. Um, it's not quite as amazing as the last two I showed you, but it's if you like a salty, fresh, aquatic, but sweet type fragrance. And I think very unisex. It is quite unusual. Kind, it's kind of unusual. And stands apart from the other frags available. And it looks a bit unusual too. Uh, Rich says, please watch Claire. I will then. I'll have to watch it back. So I'm not going to watch it now. Otherwise I will lose track of what's going on. Um, um, yeah, so this one's called Kenzo Power, Kenzo World Power, Ode to Power Farm. So it's got this rich sweetness, which to me smells almost like ripe nectarines kind of not quite peachy but like a ripe nectarine there is no fruity notes listed but there's like this to me this ripe nectar fragrance and this fresh sharp sea breeze driftwood that kind of like sharp freshness of an aquatic fragrance. Salty, very salty. Salty, woody, but sweet and fruity. It's kind of um, perfect summer fruit, summer fruit, summer sweet type fragrance. If you can, if you're okay with the aquatic, kind of aquatic, woody, salty fragrances. Jackie says, don't usually like aquatic, occasionally they're really nice. Yeah, this might be too harsh. It's, it's potentially too harsh for some tastes. It is a bit harsh, that aquatic, sharp, salty, woodsy note. It's like when you eat a bag of salt, salted crisps and there's too much salt. It's like, <coughs> makes you like thirsty. But is counteracted by the sweet juiciness so yeah it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting but i have to say that is that is more capturing my heart because i feel like i i just feel like i want to spray it on myself all the time 
slightly honey, slightly fruity, slightly vanilla, but nothing's too much. Everything's understated, everything's light, it's still ethereal, it's still diaphanous. And I got that word from Valivon, the perfume Don, who doesn't love Valivon? Every single time she posts a video, I'm like, click, no, sh no waiting, Valivon. I love her. Um, and uh, the way she talks, her, the kind of slight play on words that she makes, noise, instead of nice, she says noise. And yeah, I don't even know how she does it, but she changes words a little bit and I just like, love it, love it. Anyway, um, John Paul Gaultier, Scandal at Paris is absolutely amazing for a designer fragrance, EDT. It lasts, crazy, lasts really, really well for an EDT. It will get you through the whole working day and it's so versatile. I would I, honestly, I would wear this happily. If this is all I've got, it would it would sort me out. It would get me through whatever, whatever work day, day hanging out with friends. What else is there? I don't know. But it, yeah, I could wear this summer, winter, and all the other seasons, as I said before. I just I think it's amazing. I'm really, really pleased I got that. When I first got it, I was like, yeah, it's really nice. I could live without it, though. Now I feel like, actually, could I live without it? I don't even know. It is. You could tell it's designer, but it's kind of captured my heart. And look at those legs in the air. Legs akimbo. Love it. Love it. Oh, what, what are we talking about? Barry, so Barry's got something going on. Oh, Barry's got Father's Day and anniversary on Sunday. Happy Father's anniversary, Barry. Baza. Noise. <laughs> Joe. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> noise. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Just Jane, as soon as I see a Vanivon post, I stop everything and watch. Did you see? She sprayed all her vanilla fragrances on her, like on her arm. So I'm gonna, my plan, I've got a plan. I'm gonna start a tag video. Spray on one, like one note. So I'm gonna go almond. I'm gonna take all my almond fragrances and I'm gonna spray them all on one arm or something. And start a tag with it just because it's fun. Yeah. Barry, 12 years. 12 years married. That's amazing. I have never been married. Do you feel sorry for me? Or do you feel sorry for yourself? I guess it depends on your point of view. I feel sorry for me. And Jackie's coming up for 11 years married. I'd just be happy with a proposal, even if it didn't get to the marriage part. Just a nice ring and some, I don't know, some kind of gesture. <laughs> uh, Jackie says, ooh, tags. Just says, do it, Claire. Yes, I will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a video where I spray all my almond fragrances and then I'm going to do it, make it a tag video. Jackie says, I'm so tempted to set you up, Claire. Uh, yeah, I think I need that. I think I need setting up. Some, someone quite romantic. <laughs> Into gestures. I like a gesture. Um, Wayne, have a great day, night, everyone. Night, Wayne. Thanks for popping in. Hilary, <laughs> no, Claire is mine. Yeah, I might... I could be tempted to go pan. I've not tried that yet. So um, I think I need to tap into my inner spirit. Forget forget all the whole gender stuff. And then, yeah, maybe life would be a little bit easier. Among the stars, Claire should take my challenge. I didn't see your challenge, 
What's the challenge among the stars? Jackie says, I love matchmaking. I've got some success here. Two marriages now. Sort me out then, Jackie. But, you know, it's a bit difficult. I'm here in the UK. You're over there. And, um, yeah. But, you know, whatever. I'm open-minded. <laughs> Tony, he always hasn't got a happy ending yet. <laughs> we don't need marriage for that you know <laughs> we could probably sort that out um. Valadina I was married 23 years thank goodness it's over I felt suffocated oh that's a shame that yeah it goes to show you know just marriage it doesn't necessarily mean happiness so I am grateful that I've got my happiness. I've got my house, I've got my cat, I've got my perfumes, I've got you lot, and stuff. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Ah, Among the Stars, the most recent video on my channel. Okay, I will check it out. I haven't seen that one yet. I will check it out. Jim says the grass is always greener. Um. Heather says a quick look in. Russell Anderson, Claire Bear. Yep. <laughs> uh, we can have like a singles club. We can all just meet up and eat pizza and sniff shit. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I've run out of drink. I've run out of... I've got vodka, I don't seem to have Diet Coke. So, I might... I've, how long have I been going on for? Over an hour. So, it's up to you. Vote, all vote now. One more drink, or I end it. Let me know. I can go on for a little bit longer. Uh, Sal, yeah, check out Among the Stars. He's got a really nice channel, talks about celebrity scents. He kind of pits them against them, like the uh, pits the different celebrities against themselves if you know what I mean um, kind of gets you interested in if you like me a little bit snobby it makes you kind of want to go try the celebrity fragrances because he describes them really well um, Russell says one more drink I just got here sense of moments Joe says one more <laughs> okay and Fink Pink says one more drink and Jim says one more drink and here is one more drink. Okay, right, I'm just going to grab my Diet Coke. I've got, it's kind of like a bit delicate around here because uh, the charger. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the charger's going to move the phone out the way. There we go. That's what's going to happen. So, oh, quite keep fuck a duck. Right, okay, we'll just take the charger out for a moment. Oh, shitting hell. Sorry about the swearing, it just slipped out. Right, okay, I'm getting a, uh, right, I'm getting a drink. I'm all worried about all the other stuff. Uh. Do, do, do. One more drink, one more drink, one more drink. Right, let's straighten this up. I might need to put the old charger back in. Ah. Oh, Joss is off. Oh, that's too high. That's too high. Bye, Joss. Thanks for popping in. Let's make a drink. Smirn off. This is from my local shop. Oh, sweetie fur on my face. Smirn off. Triple distilled. 
and drinking it on zero carbs well not zero but not enough I'll probably regret this but you know I'm celebrating so I've just finished a set of shifts <laughs> party time party time the challenge is not to drink not to eat snacks when you've had a few drinks because I actually do have snacks in my cupboard there are snacks and don't want to I don't want to do it because I regret it there we go so what are you lot doing up still? It's kind of late. If you've not got school in the morning, tell me what you're doing tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I've got no plans apart from getting the bins out. I've got to get the bins out. 7 a.m. So the alarm will go off at 7 a.m. to get the bins out. And then apart from that, I've got no actual proper plans. Um here comes the cat. I will maybe if the weather is okay I'll go on a bike ride but we'll see hello sweetie we shall see oh um I'm doing a live on Saturday with Hillary um I'm not going to tell you what it's all about because there's a chance that we'll all get too excited and things will, things will get out of hand if I tell you the theme of Saturday night with me and Hilary. So just know you need to bring your, bring your vocabulary with you. <laughs> um, Bring your alternative words for certain functions. Valadina says, Claire, you have an amazing collection of fragrances. I bought a lot of threads on your recommendation. Well, thank you very much. That's really kind of you to say. Tony says, bike ride after your toast. If I need toast, then the bike ride ain't happening. Trust me. Uh, Rock says, not worked for three months. Saturday starts summer vacation. Oh, that'd be nice. Barry says, get in the bath. What are you saying? I'm dirty, Bezza. <laughs> Heather says, ooh, I bet I know. Uh, Tony says, ooh, exciting, Barry, that we'll both be in the bath. No, we won't be in the bath. Not quite, not quite. Jackie says, ooh, does it involve beans? The theme on Saturday. Maybe. Maybe. Hilary says, sadly, I don't have a bath, but I have a shower. We could all fit in. <laughs> uh, Barry says, hot tub machine. Hot tub time machine. I need, to get a, I need to get a hot tub. I would totally live stream from the hot tub. Yeah, I need to get one, just uh, one out there. I would be there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> beans and pears. Yeah, beans, pears, whatever you like. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So Saturday night, I think, we haven't agreed a time yet, but, um, I guess similar-ish to this time. Um, Heather says sausage. Maybe, maybe. Well, maybe it could be like a, all sorts. It could be a sausage party. I love a sausage party, don't you? Could be all kinds of mm, sausage, sausage and beans. <laughs> 
Jackie says beans, pears, sausages in wizard sleeves. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, think Pink Claire, can you give us a clue about the job you do? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the most boring job to describe. It's a good job, but when you tell other people what you do, I don't know, I've had jobs in the past where when I talk about what I do, it's kind of interesting, and people are interested. <laughs> this job's not interesting. Um, I, I monitor from a distance reservoirs and treatment works. So you look at a computer and you can see reservoirs, the levels go up and down, you can see treatment problems, chlorine problems, you get alarms flashing in, and you deal with them. You send someone or you don't send someone if you don't need to. It's, it's kind of like, yeah. It's, uh, no one's going to write a movie about it, let's just say that. But it's a good, I like it. I really enjoy it. I love the guys that I work with. And um, it's, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. It's nothing to do with fragrances. I'm watching water dry, yeah, I'm, not, I'm watching, it's almost like watching paint dry, but not quite. Um, Russell says, waste water treatment plant. No, um, I pride myself that I work for a clean water company. Somebody's biting me. Um, I don't think it is biting me. Um, I work for a clean water company, so we don't do waste water. We don't do poo. So if I come over to the States, how do I plan it so I can see all of you? So I need you all to tell me, like Jackie, Jimbo, Heather, um, who else is over in the States? Hillary. Yeah. I need you, I need like um, a plan. Fly into that airport, go there, go there, go there. And I'll like do a little tour, a little tour of the States and meet you all. That would be so cool. Jackie says, I need you here. Tony says, road trip. Uh, Hilary says, flying to Cincinnati and we can all come meet you. So would Cincinnati be kind of central? Yeah, the rain. Or Chicago. America's so huge though. I think us us people in the UK, we're so used to living on an island that big. It's literally that big. We don't get it. We do not understand that you lot live on an island that big. And we live on an island that big. So if Tony was to say to me, I, don't, I can't remember where Tony is, but it's somewhere up like posh, posh sort of. North, not quite North Midlands, I don't know. Um, but Tony or John said, come for a visit. I'd be like, well, that's a bit of a mission. But for you lot, it was nothing. Because our country's that big. Your country's that big. You, you can't even get to the seaside without, I don't know, like hour, hours and hours and hours of traveling, which is crazy. But I think we forget that when we're in the UK, when we're so small, we just feel like, yeah, I don't know. I'm talking rubbish now. Um, uh, Tony says, two hours to you roughly, Claire, I'm a Kent boy. Well, I think we need to do a UK meetup. We definitely need to do like a bigger, a bigger USA meetup as well. That's going to take a little bit more planning. But us guys in the UK can easily meet up, especially if you're only a couple of hours away, Tony. And there's 
you got Lizzie down, she's not too far from me, and um, Peter Corcoran, he doesn't come to every chat, but Peter Corcoran's in Sussex, Sussex or Surrey area, and there's a few, there's a few, there's plenty in London, so we should do some kind of meet up, I think it would be fun. But Chris Fragmental, I'm sure he would be up for it as well. Hilary says, 10 hours will get me to an ocean, but I can get to a lake in an hour. But beautiful mountain and hiking is just out the back door. Well, that's really nice. It's nice that you've got mountains. That's I mean, to me, that's crazy to imagine. I've always, I guess I've always lived an hour, I live an hour from the beach sea beach so yeah it's mental to think you're 10 hours away from being at the beach like sea beach and Heather's 16 hours drive to gym Scott's in Norwich Norwich is not too far for me And um, Barry says I would come dance, dance off. <laughs> Jimbo says it's Tom's 40th tomorrow. So Tom off of Ouch 110, if you don't know already. This is 40th birthday tomorrow. He should have been in Croatia. Obviously he's not. So um, go on Facebook or go on his last video. Send him some good wishes. But yeah, I think we need to all get some meetups planned. And we were talking last time about Paris. I think Paris would be a great place because it's the capital, kind of the capital of perfumery. Or grass, grass South Front. But that's more, that's more about going to perfume museums. Oh, running out of battery again. But yeah southern france would be really nice paris would be really nice uh tony says i love paris yeah i love paris um rush oh hello rush i want to go pub hopping with claire yes i want to go pub hopping with you oh my god uh, Harris says, can we take the train from London to Paris? We absolutely can. Yes, that's doable. Yeah. It's just, God, wouldn't it be fun if we could all plan it? But it's always like everyone's got their own commitments, families and jobs and stuff. But we should try. We should try. If we can get a meet up. Yeah, I think we should do it. Yeah, I think we should all meet up. It'll be a lot. <sighs> oh, my face is itching again, sorry. Jackie says, my last trip to London, we took the train to Paris. My husband booked first class. I kept waiting for them to toss us out. It's so highbrow. <laughs> oh, as long as you enjoyed it. Jim says I need a year to lose 40 pounds. Who cares about all of that? Who cares about that? We just want to meet up. You know, Jimbo, do you care if I weigh 40 pounds more or less when we meet? Or Heather or Jackie or whatever. Do you care? I'm sure you don't. No, see? You see? So we don't care either. We just want to meet. It'd be fun. It'd be lovely. Heather says, Jim, more to hug and love. There you go, you see. <laughs> Jim, Jim says, but I'm single and if I'm going to Paris, I might be busy a few nights. 
same here, same here. But you know, do what I do, just drop drop the carbs a few nights beforehand. A few nights before the flight, stop eating cakes and bread. <laughs> yeah. And Rox, you're right, don't put off life for losing weight. So many people say, once I've lost the weight, then I'm gonna, you can't, you can't do that. You can't. Tony's gonna bring his cake bod. <laughs> Lockdown love handles, that's what it is, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, Jackie, with this group it will be a big eating meet up. Bring your elastic waist pants. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, God, don't we love a bloody pastry? And if we go to Paris, they make the best cakes and pastries in the world. You used to have, like, die out the window. And the Fritz. Oh my God, the Fritz. And they even make good pizza. In Paris, the pizza's, even the pizza's good. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie says, oh my god, we love food. Yes, Claire. Talk reason to them. Uh, Tony says, patisseries and coffees in Paris. There's nothing like it. It's the main, actually the main thing in France is food. Above perfume, even. Food comes above perfume. Kevin okay, says, I've been obese most of my life. I'm average now. Who cares? London or bus gym. Yeah. We're all friends. We're all friends. So who cares if we've got a few extra pounds on us? I know I'm not one to talk. I sit here and moan about my weight sometimes, but I know you lot don't care, and I don't care. Whether you're skinny, medium, big, whatever, like you were just a nice, nice bunch of people. It's about the soul inside, isn't it? And I'd rather hang out with people that want to taste their custard tarts rather than someone who says, "Oh no, I couldn't possibly." I'll just have a water. Fuck off. <laughs> Jackie says so many croissants will be had and the crepes oh the crepes oh yes <laughs> Jim says I hate being around people who eat nothing but salads oh my god that would be depressing Think Pink says can you imagine the cloud of all our fragrance we would be the best smelling group in Paris ever. <laughs> oh Francis is here. She says, hey girl. Hey Francis. Wayne Morris drinks all around for everyone. Oh yes. Oh yes. Right. <laughs> Francis, what are you guys talking about Paris without me? The thing is though, we need to find a platform where we can all communicate. So, everyone that wants to actually go for it and meet up in Paris early next year, I reckon, like February, March, who has got WhatsApp? Have you all got WhatsApp? Could we all, everyone that's up for it, if we can find a platform, we can all get together and try and agree a time frame. And like, we could do this, it can happen. So yeah, um, maybe find me on, find me on, what, not WhatsApp, Find me on either Facebook, Messenger, or Instagram, whatever, Instagram, and we'll figure out a platform that we can all access, because that's the problem. Some of you are on Instagram, some of you are only on YouTube, some of you are on Facebook. We need to find one 
place that we can all get together if we are serious about doing a meetup. Then we need a one singular. And I think WhatsApp might be the most commonly used thing. So let me know if you're up for it, if you're really serious about a meetup. I am, I'm well up for it. I didn't go to Paris this year. I went last year and the year before. I'm definitely going next year, whether you lot come or not. But I really hope that you will want to. And yeah, we can do a meet up. And let's find a mutual place we can all meet and kind of like plan the date and stuff. And I reckon we should do a Paris meet up. Yeah, Facebook group or uh, WhatsApp group. We just need like one thing that everyone can do. So that, yeah. Right. Stefan, excuse me, are, there are millions of fingers tapping on your window. No, it's rain. <laughs> it's just rain, it's fine. Yeah, I think, Jackie, if we can, um, so my ideal would be to get a tour of uh, the Galan, I think it's the Galan Museum, um, or the, is it the Os Osma Osmatique? But yeah, if we can get, a, like, if we can get something sorted and we know how many people, then we can then arrange some special stuff, special stuff just for us. So, um, is anyone volunteering to organise stuff? <laughs> Wayne Morris says fragments orgy. orgy. Um, Jackie, I don't want to put it on you, but do are you happy to organise, start organising stuff? Um, if that's the case, don't don't take it all on. But you can start the ball rolling, and then we can get, if we can just get everyone in the same place, and then we can start to come together. Right. Okay. So Jackie's happy to start a Facebook group. So if you're if you're on Facebook, um, so Jackie is on Instagram as JLW as well. So if you're unsure how to find her on Facebook, go find her on Instagram and hopefully Jackie can get some kind of group rolling in the live streams. If you still can't find the group, then get in touch with me, Jackie, anyone else that's involved and we'll try and get everyone in the same group and then we can start to organise things. So Jackie's happy to create a group on Facebook and add everyone. So if you haven't got Facebook, just create a basic account and make sure all your name's on there so we know who you are. And then you can get updated on all this stuff and get involved. Yeah. But yeah, if in doubt, if you haven't got Facebook, message Jackie on Instagram. She's got Jackie on Instagram. She's JLW. I think she's JLW Stone on Instagram. Oh, there, there you go, she's got a Facebook page added on here. So if you're up for a meetup, if you want to do it, if you're up for a Paris meetup next year, then let's, let's get the ball rolling. It's going to be fun. <laughs> what should we call ourselves? Name suggestions for our Paris meetup. Let's get them out there. Claire's army. Oh, don't don't make me the focus. <laughs> um, <laughs> Claire. <it's laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, where is Rich? Where's Rich Mitch? 
Wayne says, Claire, it sounds amazing. Unfortunately, I don't know if or when we will even be allowed to travel. I guess I could apply on compassionate grounds. I mean, I haven't added to could be therapeutic. Yeah, well, we're talking about next year, so hopefully things will be a little bit easier. And there's a little bit of time, a bit of time to plan. Um, I think if, if it aims sort of February, March, that gives everyone a bit of time to plan and to get time off work. But yeah, I think it'd be lovely. It'd be so nice if we can all meet up. Mm. <laughs> um. So I think I'm, I'm kind of like dying because I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> So, I am going to go to the loo. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave, I'm just going to leave the stream running so you can organise stuff, just because you're organising stuff. So you're going to have to listen to the rain. Oh my god, you need to see my cat. I'm going to the loo. Just, just look at the cat. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Sorry, darling. How does she do? Does she entertain you all okay? What's the matter? Oh, are they boring? Are they boring to you? 
Oh dear. Oh. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> but sweetie was singing on Smule. She's a cheeky little mare. You're a cheeky little mare, aren't you, sweetie? Hey. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Right then, how are we doing? What's going on? Right, I've seen your link, Jackie. Thank you so much for doing that. I will join you once this... Actually, I can do it. I can probably do it now. I can probably do it now while we talk. Oh, I've got to log into Facebook. Oh. As if, it, if the system remembers my stuff. Can you hear the thundery stuff? Here we go. Oh, the Smurfs clear me up. Oh my God. Join group, right. Join group, I'm joining the group. There we go, there we go. I think I've joined it. Yes. Yes, I joined it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. This is going to happen. Pineapple on pizza photo, says Tony. Perfume bottle legs akimbo. Oh, yes. You can go for that. Perfume bottle legs akimbo. Um... We could have some kind of bean flicking photo. <laughs> my request was denied. Oh my god, wouldn't wouldn't that be amazing? Like, wouldn't that be not amazing? Wouldn't that be funny if you lot said, "Do you know what? That Claire's a bit annoying, so um, let's not let her in. We'll all just meet up in Paris without her." And I'll be sat here with Sweetie and my drink. And you lot will be in Paris. Hilary says perfume bottles and beans. <laughs> We're all going to meet up with our herb by fight, Sweetie. Yeah. Sweet is very discerning about the invites that she accepts, by the way. Um, I can show you, sweetie. There she is. <laughs> she knows she's special. We won't tell her she's not going to Paris. She hasn't got a passport, otherwise she would totally would be, you know. Oh, look at you, sweetie. Making sense is here. Top notes here, hello. Jim says the sweet have her own Facebook page. No, she hasn't. She should, shouldn't she? She loves it. <laughs> she absolutely loves it. Top so, notes like, hey sweetie! Sweetie, 
completely on Tinder. Oh, come on. Are you trying to set her up with your dogs or something? Sweetie has everything she needs right here. Tinderella. <laughs> Stroke left. <laughs> Making sense, Clay, you have amazing colour glowing on the camera. Thank you. Right, that's enough of that. Oh, but she's loving it. Tinderella cut it up one time. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh look at her she's proper loving it but all the fur that's coming off is ridiculous it's going to bother my it's going to get in my eyeballs it's going to get on my nose it's going to get in my mouth aren't you it's all very well looking cute like that but I'm the one who gets covered in fur <laughs> She's so cute. Hey, sweetie. Jackie, I would be so sad to not get a chance to pet sweetie. Oh, she would love you to pet her, Jackie. She would love it. <laughs> Making sense as I would touch my eyes and not stop rubbing them for hours and then keep petting the key. Yeah, she's so cute. You can't stop. You can't stop. But yeah, the hairs are literally crazy, like crazy ridiculous. Let's move that slightly. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the hairs are ridiculous. So I think I am, it's like, it's one o'clock in the morning or, yeah, it's one o'clock. So I think I've gone on long enough. I think we've achieved something tonight though. We've got a Facebook group and we're going to meet up. Hopefully the majority of us will meet up. That will be amazing. I hope that can happen. So yeah, thank you Jackie for sorting it out. Um... Francis is still waiting for the insulate to arrive. Oh yes, I want to hear what you think about that. Jackie says, I'm certain we'll meet up. Yes, I honestly, we've got time. We can do this. We've time to plan. Plan your time off from works, family commitments. Who cares about family? It's all right for me to say. Francis says, who else is on Instagram? If you're on Instagram, let Francis know who you are and what your name is. Yeah, it's going to happen. And well, well done, Jackie, for sorting out the group so quickly. It's amazing. Please let me in. <laughs> Please let me in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you did let me in. I think you let me in, didn't you? I think. Oh dear. Oh dear, someone needs to go to bed. Someone needs some carbs. I'm not going to have carbs though. Yeah. So yeah, for anyone that's not paying attention, just scroll up the chat a little bit. There's a link to a Facebook group. Join the Facebook group, click on it, join it. And that's the meetup. That's where we're going to plan our meetup. In Paris, à la Paris. Um, oh my god, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a scandal at Paris. Jimbo, you said that to me, didn't you? I'm sure it was you, Jimbo. Did you say to me, let's have a scandal at Paris? Or you were going to have a scandal at Paris? And I said, I'm joining in. Anyway, whatever, all of us are going to have a scandal at 
Harry. Yes, it's happening. Uh, Jackie says, post your collection pics on the Facebook group. We can choose a header for, for the group picture. Yeah, so if you want to go on the group, post your picture of your collection or whatever picture you want. And uh, we can have a picture, header picture. DV70 is here. Hello, DV70. I am going to bugger off in just a moment because it's time for bed. It's gone one o'clock in the morning here. And I've got to go out for the rubbish bin. So, yes, but there is, for anyone that's just arrived, there is a Facebook group that is uh, Jackie's posted for a meetup that we're planning next year in Paris. So go join the Facebook group if you are up for meeting a Paris, if you fancy a scandal at Paris, you need to go join the group and you can all get involved. Because I'm well up for scandal. It's about the time I had a scandal. It's been a minute. Yes, Jackie's posting the link again. If you want a scandal, check the link. It's noisy here. This rain is crazy. So the title of this live stream was Don't Go To Bed. I'm now reversing that. I think it's time for bed. Certainly for me anyway. But I need to show you my cat because she is so cute. She's all like, how can I show you her? She's all curled up. I can feel her legs digging in the back of my back. And she's all cozy here. Look at her. She's just chilled. Night, everyone. Brilliant live. Thank you so much for joining in and join the Facebook group. If you're watching this live stream back, you can still look at the comments and you can still find the link and you can still join. If you want to meet up next year, early next year in Paris, then just go and click to join the Facebook group. But for now, I am going to bugger off because... I need to get up for the bin men because that's life. Adult, hashtag adulting. From me and from Sweetie. No, me, Sweetie. It's good night. <laughs>